With the client in supine position, we can perform the horizontal adduction, the horizontal adduction stretch. This is actually my favorite position to stretch the piriformis because we do not place a torque force through the client's knee. So for any client with an unhealthy knee, this is a very effective and safe stretch. So Isabella's is lying supine. We can do this two ways. I can stand on the same side of the piriformis, the right side piriformis that I'm going to stretch and push her thigh into horizontal adduction. Or I can be on the other side and pull. First to demonstrate pushing from, this, from the same side, what I'd like you to do is scoot over toward me. This is better for my body mechanics so I don't have to lean over the table. I'll flex her thigh at the hip joint to 90 degrees. And now what I'm going to do is place my hands on the lateral side of her thigh and take a breath in. And as you breathe out, I'll stretch her thigh across her body. Because when the thigh is flexed to 90 degrees, the piriformis is a horizontal abductor, horizontal adduction will stretch it very nicely. One point about the positioning for this stretch. If the angle I push, the vector, is too high up, too parallel with the table or floor, then her pelvis will leave the table and will lose the stretch in the piriformis and in the gluteal region and the stretch will move up into the lumbar region. So for the sake of getting the stretch focused on the piriformis, it's important to actually push downward some so that we keep the pelvis on the table. Okay, now from the other side of the table. Isabel, scoot way over to this side of the table for me now. Perfect. Okay, I flex her hip joint to 90 degrees. First I stand facing across the table transversely. This is my right axillary region toward the cephalad side, toward the head of the client. I bring her knee inside my right axillary region, my right armpit, and now I place my right hand down on the table for balance and support and my left hand on the table for balance and support. Both of my thighs are against the table for balance and support and my feet are firmly planted on the floor. I'm very comfortable and stable here and now all I need to do to stretch her into horizontal adduction is to drop with my body weight like that. This is a very strong and powerful and comfortable stretch for the therapist. One note, if it's a female therapist, especially a large-breasted female therapist, the client's knee could be against your breast. So one thing that can help is to slightly turn the body outward this way to bring the breasts away from the client's knee when you drop down. Something that's important to note about the horizontal adduction stretch for the piriformis and the deep lateral rotators in this area here, it's typical to bring the client's thigh straight across the body and that will create a line of tension right along here and stretch this tissue very well. But there's no reason why we can't vary that angle. If I bring her up a little bit, the line of tension will go a bit more downward. If I bring her up even more, it goes more down in posterior. If I bring her a bit this way, it changes a bit there. What's important to do is try and play with the angle of the stretch until you feel where the maximal tissue tension is, where the barrier is. And that's the best place to utilize this stretching technique. One possible problem that we can encounter when doing the horizontal adduction stretch for the piriformis is that the client might experience a pinching sensation in the anterior hip joint region. This might be due to tight hip flexors or sensitive hip flexors or perhaps taut capsular fibers of the joint. There are two or three things that we can do to try and eliminate this problem, the pinching sensation, so that we can better affect the stretch. One is we can try to first open up the hip joint by laterally rotating it outward 
and tractioning a bit and then bringing the client's thigh over into the position of the stretch. That will work in a few of the cases, but very often it doesn't completely eliminate the pinching. Another thing that we can do is we can take like a rolled up towel, something along this line, place it right along the inguinal ligament, right along the crease here, and then when we bring the thigh up and over, this towel pushes in and creates some space, in effect some tractioning, opening up of the front of the hip joint, and that will very often eliminate the pinching for clients where the first method didn't work. When neither of these work, then what we can do is actually use our hands to traction the soft tissue and the head of the femur out of the acetabulum to make space here. So I'll go into the position of the stretch here, get myself nice and stable and set, but now instead of my hands supporting myself on the table, I'll take my hands and I'll support, I'll double support one set of fingers over the other. I'll reach in here and I'll try to find where the tautness is and then using my fingers I will pull the soft tissue away and using my upper extremities I'll pull the femur out and away and then I'll go around that point and with that tractioning, with that opening up of the space, very often the pinching sensation either goes away or lessens sufficiently so that we can have an effective stretch for the piriformis. One other thing that can be done during the session to try and lessen the pinching when the horizontal adduction stretch is done is beforehand soften and warm up the hip flexor region and perhaps the hip abductor region. So perhaps soft tissue manipulation, in other words massage, perhaps moist heat, stretching the front of the hip, the outside of the hip first, and then performing the stretch for the piriformis into horizontal adduction.